Hello, 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 everyone. I have a super special announcement today, and I'm like super, super pumped to talk about this. Um, so you guys, I have made my first NIME component. And for me, this is a huge deal. It's a huge development in my NIME journey or, you know, my effort to learn NIME. And I'm so happy to share this with you. And I honestly think, or I really, really hope that this is going to benefit a lot of NIMEers out there and a lot of 2B NIMEers out there. So I'm working at Fridak, which is, you know, the coolest food delivery company in the whole world. And one day I was working on a project and I wanted to know, I wanted to have this as part of my data flow, okay? How long it should take to get from one location to another using real time drive time information. But I didn't find a tool to do this. And I had spoken to my friend and mentor and he suggested that since one is in there, I should make one. And for me, that seemed like a daunting, you know, challenge, which of course got me super excited and did motivate me to do it in the first place. And, you know, for the entire week, I had the final countdown by Europe, like playing in my brain. That's like my rabbit hole theme song, by the way. So I was thinking about this and I did some research on it. And I, you know, I decided that, you know, I am going to do this. I'm going to make this happen. And I was able to do it with the vast resources from NIME, as well as assistance from two wonderful NIME employees, Paolo and Rosaria. They helped me along the way with this to make this possible. So with this component, when you fit in your latitude and your longitude, you can then get information for drive time, the distance it should take you to get from one point to the next, as well as the minutes, the duration, all that information you'll get using this component. And for me, this is a huge deal because it will help me for my job, but also anybody else doing fleets or anybody who needs to know, you know, how far away the customers are, anybody who just wants this information as part of their workflow, this should be helpful for that. And this is, you know, a solution not too many analytics platforms have out there, at least not for free, but this component, it is free. This is why I'm so excited to talk about this because, you know, something I like about NIME is that they break down the barriers, keeping people away from analytics. You know, people should be able to have access to, to data, to tools, to knowledge. And NIME makes this possible. So I wanted to build a component that even adds to, to this culture that NIME has. So without further ado, let me show you how this works. And if you stick around later, I'm going to show you behind the scenes, the, the more engineering part of those components, because I am such a nerd and actually loved, loved, loved making this. So how does this work? Basically this works using an API and it uses the TomTom Tom API. I researched this thoroughly and I chose TomTom Tom because their signup process is extremely uh, stressless. They don't ask for credit cards. They don't ask for a whole bunch of personal information. You just have to go on to this link right here I have for you, actually. You can copy that from there. And you register. Once you register, they will email you your API key, but you can also find it on the developers dashboard. They have a section there for you to grab that as well. Once you have that and you have your data, I have an example data for you. This is, this data is actually, um, it's a list of Starbucks stores in the US, their information, and of course, their latitude, longitude information. I have put here my university's coordinates because, I mean, of course, as a student in the US, I was obsessed with Starbucks. I think all of us were, you know, it's hard, you know, to stay away from that lovely environment. So this is the use case I prepared for this. But I actually did test this component on actual food act data, but I don't want to really show that because, you know, customer stuff is sensitive. So I'm just using this to show it to you, but you can use it on a much bigger data set. Now with the components leveraging the TomTom Tom API, you get 2,500 free API calls per day. If you don't have so much data, that'll be good enough for you. But if you're a bigger company, I need more, you can definitely get more. And their prices are very, very affordable. They're actually more affordable than Google. So however you want to scale this, whatever the size of, of the data, this should work for you. So let me go in here to show you. So opening up the component, you need to put in your developer key. You, you need to tell it which of the columns in your data has your starting latitude. Same for your starting longitude and the same for the other two. 
now you can also select your mode of transportation you can walk to the location you can take a truck a taxi a bus a van now of course for all locations this is not going to be you know you're not going to have everything available but you have the choices take what's best for you let's just do a car in this instance and you also have the option to filter out roles with missing gps information let's go ahead and do that okay so once you give it all the selections you can just run this and as long as you have your data in the the decimal format for the coordinates it should work so we are going to run this now oh yes good it failed and here's why it failed if you go to the um, error messages i have a breakpoint here if you read the message it says provide your api key and try again and i i did indeed not provide my api key this was not intentional but this was a great opportunity to show you guys actually what could make this break now i'm gonna put in my api key go off screen because of course that's sensitive and come back to you okay my api key is in so this should work now okay now that took about 30 seconds or so to run i did cut it out to make this video as short as possible so if we scroll over down here we can see all the nice juicy data this has pulled in for us. I just love saying juicy data for some reason. Anyway, so we have the departure time. Now this is an Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, but if you need to change this to a different time zone, you know, you can pull in the date time shift tool, for instance, to make that your time zone. Okay, it has your departure time, your arrival time, your trip duration, your travel time in seconds, traffic delay if there's traffic, the distance in kilometers, meters, traffic length in kilometers and meters. Now, for my use case, I do want to know which Starbucks are closest to me. Now, of course, University of Tampa, we're fortunate to have a Starbucks right on campus. And this was about five minutes walking from the College of Business. So it was like really close. Um, so there's one right there. There was one in the Hilton Hotel. There's one in the hospital. So here I've just sorted it. But these are the kinds of things you can do with this tool. Again, you can get up to 2,500 API calls per day for free. So if I had 2,500 rows, it would take a while to run, but it's going to get it done. Now, if you notice here, I have 42 rows, but in here I'm giving it 43. But intentionally, I put in bogus you know, coordinates. That's this one right here to make sure it was filtering out the ones which were problematic. So that's that's working fine. And this only works if you did enable that filter out rows with missing information. Okay. And now let me just talk to you briefly about, you know, what might cause this to break. So we've already covered that it will break if you don't have your API key. It will also break if you have a trailing or a leading space in your API key. So the best practice would be to like actually click on the uh, clipboard icon on your developer's dashboard and the TomTom's website to copy it exactly and paste it in here. Also, it's going to break if there are some errors, um, if there's some API errors. And let me actually show you here. I have a pretty good description on why this might happen. Some nice information where you can register, where you can get your API key. And then troubleshooting is very important. So if you have an error, then just go through this. And of course, if you've used nine components before, you know that you can click on here to get an update. Now, you can, of course download this and then open the component if you want to you know see what makes it tick and i gotta hand it to nime for someone who's never made a component this is my first one you guys i found it extremely easy and extremely intuitive to make the components of course i had help when i got stuck from the wonderful nine people but you know most of it was very 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 um user friendly very very intuitive the design the infrastructure and everything they have for making components is just absolutely flawless so yeah these are all the nodes that make this work um my favorite part honestly is the is the error handling because i was able to like use you know workflow controls and like rule engines and like all these different things string manipulation and just like have them work together and just execute like that was super super cool to see and i will have more I'll, i do have many many more planned so definitely stay posted for that if this kind of information or this kind of data is useful for you your business and whatnot thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you have a great fantastic day and if you have any questions again feel free to reach out to me on linkedin or email or however you need to reach out to me i will be here thank you goodbye